What's up guys? Shuddy McNutty, back again. I know in the last video, I said I was gonna go find that Roaring Skies pack, but everything was like packed on top of it, and I was using it. But, another thing I wanna do is just kinda show you some stuff that you don't really see all the time from my personal collection. And after that, we'll get into that Roaring Skies pack, and... It's going to be a quick video, so let's get into it. Now, this is Dark Ride 2 from Team Rocket, first edition, 83, I think out of 82, yep. When I pulled this back when I was... Uh, probably 12 years old and I was all about the numbers trying to put them in sets and I'm like what is this 83 out of 82 I felt like I won the lottery and it's a beautiful card I mean the hollow on it some of them have awesome swirls, like this one has a swirl right behind the tail, right under the ear. Love that swirl. Then we got Shiny Mew. Well, sh Shiny Mew too. This is an epic card. This card does no justice to what it looks like in a PSA 10. I mean, every, every, it goes from dark, and he's like, like, they don't make cards like this anymore. Yeah, they're all textured and hollow, but look, boop, boop. But, I just like to show off a little of my collection every now and then. Same way I do with the Charizard and Venusaur, Blast Toys, and I got more. So there's that. And then let's get into this. Oh, um, by the way, I still got the other half a box of Unbroken Bonds that is gonna be open. Jim Challenge. There we go. There's Roaring Skies. I would l love to pull this Rayquaza. Chances are, I mean, I'm a gambling man, slim to none, but who knows? It's a fun video, quick video. Showed you some nice cards and let's get into it and get this. And then I'm going to bed. These packs from this era just. They open like they were glued by. Zeus himself. I have no idea the card trick on this one. I'm gonna... Actually, we're just gonna go right into it. Straight in. Side. Worm pull. Fletching. Alright, so whatever we got is behind here. And it's. Okay. Bayonet. Non hollow. 
That's kind of a little let down, but it is what it is. Then we got Wally, Dust Ox, and Pumper. <sighs> I hate to let you down. We're going to do an Evolution Charizard pack yet. Just for use. Can't believe I'm doing it, but I am. There it is. There it be. There's the other one. These, uh, I feel, are going to go so high up, I got to keep them in plastic because I don't want them to get ruined. Same way with this Roaring Scar. Like, the artwork on that is beautiful. Alright, let's do this quick, and then... I'll let this go. Come on, me too. Let's get it. Fist bump. These are the hardest packs to open. Without just destroying the pack. And I hate to destroy a Charizard or work. Don't forget, dumb me. Three to the front. Not four. And there's that. And there's the other one from the other pack. Sorry, my guys. One, two, and three. Perfect. Slow burrow. Spirit link. Let's get this in the camera. Magmar. Retrieval. Sandshrew. Pornita. Magdamite. Oh, there's a Pikachu. Machop. Another Charmander. I will take that, though. These are going up little by little. Come on, Charmander. Tell me your daddy's behind you. Come on, Charmander. Come on! Okay. Okay, that is not a bad hit at all. Lilypad Mew, I honestly, I opened so many of these packs, I have yet to pull one, so I will take that. So, there are the hits. And the other thing is, I just got this in the mail. Do I open it or do I save it? I don't know what to do. It's the same with the unbroken half case packs. Do I open them or do I save them? Thumbs up if I should open them. Comments, like. Share if please subscribe. I just love doing this. This is like an after work thing. I love doing it as much as I can. So, everybody, stay crazy, have fun, enjoy your night, day, evening. Hope you enjoyed the video.